Hey, piggy people. So today, Pecan is in this carrier. We are going to the vet. So since she's on medications, it's mandatory that she goes once a year minimum. So that is what our appointment is today, just to do a health check to make sure everything is good. So we're going to go to the vet and you can follow us along and see what a health check looks like. If you guys are looking for a vet currently or thinking about switching to a different one, you should check out Scotty's Animals page. He did a whole vet list for all different areas. Everything is recommended by viewers like you and it's all compiled into one big list. It is all sectioned off for states, provinces, areas of the world, so it's awesome. So I'm gonna put that down below and you guys can check it out. And if you're not subscribed to Scotty's channel, I think you guys all should be. Okay, so we'll see you in a bit. Bye. Come up, sweetie. Better pecan. You can get everything all ready for you. How's she been doing? Very good. We had a little bout of blow last month. Okay. But it was just like isolated incident and she got over it. Does she go about like it once a month or even less than that? Or it hadn't been like... for a long time. Okay, so I this think was a Maybe I forgot a piece of vegetable in there. Cause like I take her out and then the herd eats and then oh, I check. Sure. Yeah. So otherwise, no, she's good every okay. day. Good. So yeah. her current medications seem to be keeping oh, yeah. her bloat free for the most part. Yes. That's good. Let's see how much you weigh. She's already left us a nice little sample. Oh, eight. She's very consistent. She's exactly the same weight. Oh, good. To the gram. Good job. Oh, so that's a good weight. All right. So we'll start by taking her temperature. Make sure that's okay. I know. And what's a normal temperature for a guinea pig? So anywhere from 37.2 to 39.5, and that's Celsius. Okay. And she's 39.1, so she's right in the middle of the normal range. Okay. So I'm not worried about that temperature at all. And if their temperature was too low, what do you worry about? So when they're low, we worry about hypothermia, and then we worry about why are they hypothermic. So some piggies, when they get really sick, like severe GI stasis or bloat or septic, that can make their temperature low. I mean, the same time, if they were out in a cold environment, that can also make their temperature low. But yeah, generally a low temperature or even a high temperature start to get you worried about something more serious going on. Okay. Okay, we're going to check your eyes out. Good. You're a cute little curious one. That's excellent. So when we're checking her eyes, I'm looking at her upper and her lower eyelids. I'm looking at her cornea to see if there looks like there's any irritation. And then I'm also kind of looking at the like the back of her eye too. Okay. Just to check the vessels and the nerve there. Everything looks good. Let's no cataracts? Here. No signs of cataracts. Yay! Let me just give your ears a quick little illumination. Good. Now I'll just check your little nostrils too while we're here. But we'll save checking your teeth to the end. Yeah, the fun part for the end. One thing they really don't like. Alright, so now we're going to take a listen to her heart and lungs. And how many beats per minute average for a piggy? Well, when they're here at the veterinary clinic, they can be well over 200, so anywhere from like 220 to 300 can be normal for them. Okay. So they're. It's pretty high. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> I 
and she's running about 240 right now. Okay. So things that I'm listening for is if her heart uh, rhythm is regular, if there's a murmur, which can be of a normal heart sound, and then I'm also listening to her lungs to hear, you know, does she seem to be passing air through her lungs clearly, or does it sound extra noisy? That could be a sign of an issue, but okay. she sounds great. And then as we go along, I jot things down on her record so that I don't forget what to put in her official record in the computer system after. You know, I want to kick my hands away. So right now we're just feeling her belly. And because she's had so many issues with bloating, I always just like to check to see how gassy she's feeling or if her tummy's feeling over distended or if there's any particular uncomfortable spots or any swellings or abnormal growths. Okay. And this is another thing that not all piggies particularly enjoy, but she's very good and everything feels really good. Okay. Yeah, she good. doesn't feel overly gassy. I know sometimes We've had her in when she's been having a blowed episode. Oh, yes. She's kind of been like a little balloon back here, but no, well, she good. feels good. Good job. All right, so now let's check her feet. Okay, so I'll have you just tip her up for me, Abby. Perfect. And then when we're checking their feet, I'm just checking their nails to see if their nails are too long or too short. And then I'm also just checking the bottoms of their feet just to see if there are any sores or signs of bruising. Doing good there. Guinea pigs will often have curly nails. Oh, uh, yes. The hardest things to, to cut. cut. Yeah. I find especially on the front teeth, like front, sorry, feet. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes they'll develop little calluses, but she's actually really good. Yay. You look good. Now your favorite part. Teeth time? Teeth time. So when we're looking at a guinea pig's teeth, uh, most guinea pig owners will probably know that they have front teeth, because those are the teeth that they actually might be able to see. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but they might not know that there's also a set of back teeth too. So the front teeth, you can usually get a peek at them yourself at home if your guinea pig's cooperative, but the back teeth require a special little scope. So they have uh, four front teeth, okay, so we call those incisors. So yep. there's two on the top, two on the bottom. And then they have uh, 16 cheek teeth, so those are the molar teeth at the back, mm -hmm. okay. And all those teeth have the potential to overgrow. So when I'm looking in her mouth, I'm checking to see, does there look like these teeth are overgrowing and trapping her tongue? Anything that we should be worried about? Because overgrown teeth can cause problems uh, with eating. Okay. Yep. Um, they can also lead to abscesses. They can also cause problems like bloat and GI stasis. Okay. Okay. So to do this, we're going to snuggle her underneath this towel. How do you want to wrap her? I think we'll put her underneath this way. Oh, look at that. She gave us a nice little sample. Yeah, it looks good. All right, I'll move this over to the side. All right, Abby, if you can give her a little snuggle with the towel. So basically, we're snuggling with the towel. <laughs> to keep her a little confined. <laughs> And she's always got the look of, oh no, now yeah. what? <laughs> Bye guys. All right. So this doesn't hurt them at all. They just don't particularly enjoy it. So when I'm checking, there's often some food in there if they've been eating, so that's actually a good sign. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that can be a challenge because it can obscure some of your views. Yeah. So 
I'm looking to see like, okay, yeah, is her tongue moving between her teeth? How's the angle? That side's looking good. And she's like, now I've got your scope right where I want it, so you can't even move it. Okay, one more peek. You're okay, pecan. The side. Good. Perfect. Yay, you made it. Good job. That wasn't so when we're looking at them when they're awake, oftentimes you can't necessarily see every single tooth perfectly mm -hmm. in there, but we're try I'm trying to get a sense of, okay, is there something that looks like there might be wrong that should, that should warrant further investigation that we might have to do like a sedated exam with okay. her. So everything looks really good though. Her incisors are meeting normally and I don't see any odd angulations in her lower cheek teeth or upper cheek teeth and she's got great tongue movement so nothing's getting entrapped. Oh good. That's really good. Do you find their front teeth are crooked if the back ones are too? Yeah. Is that um, like a telltale? Sometimes it can be. Okay. Yeah. So sometimes if you're noticing that, oh, the front teeth are off, really checking the back teeth and oftentimes you'll find a problem there. Not all the time, but okay. yes. Yeah. All right. That's good. So we all check out. We check out great. Yay. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Sarah. Oh, you're very welcome. Okay. Great. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!